happy weekend all around. This is Westbound for Westbound Music. I'm gonna take you to my track of uh, my entry for Heavy OCD's uh, Vocalized 3 competition once more, but this time differently as uh, opposed to last time. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I already did a walkthrough. I'm not gonna walk you through the entire track this time. We're gonna focus on Ethereal Earth, uh, the new version 2.0, and also on NKS, um, the standard um, by complete um, native instruments for complete control which uh, enables integration of outboard gear and uh, many functions or parameters for, for sounds inside of the DAW, inside of Logic in my case. So without much further ado, well first of all I need to thank uh, Tababito uh, who did a, a longer video on Ethereal Earth 2.0, I'm gonna link to that also in the de description, he did it for Native Instruments Complete Composer Series and uh, so this is a little addendum to his, hopefully. <laughs> so let's bring up my project here and take a look. So this is uh, the track that I came up with uh, for the competition. Um, and like I said, inspired by his video, I meant to um, replicate my entry using only sounds from Ethereal Earth or other packages uh, which are part of Native Instruments uh, complete play series or play selection I think it's called which Ethereal Earth is a part of um, otherwise it, it'll cost you only 94 uh, euros or dollars or British pounds wherever you are and I think it's a bargain uh, it's such a rich um, um, package for ambient sounds or anything along the lines of electronic music and, and also for this it was the right thing so let's give it a listen real quick with the new sounds and then we're gonna look at Ethereal Earth a little bit more. Okay, we have a lot of um, moving layers and pads which are kind of reminiscent of um, human voices, but not exactly like little electronic sounding. And then drums come in as this figure rises up. And the filter sweep as he does, and so on. So we had much of that in the other version already, uh, but like I said, this time I only chose in favor of uh, Ethereal Earth and re replicated uh, that thing and replaced all the sounds using only this packet. Well, mostly that package. So let's um, bring up the interface real quick and also talk about integrating um, functions and parameters from inside the DAW with the outboard gear. Gonna switch over to a different view here. Um, so this is one uh, sound from Ethereal Earth 1.0 and you see it's uh, kind of simplified, you know, like there's basically two versions, two sounds which you're gonna, you know, you can blend between using this handle here, blend AB, and then you have, on the left you have Ambient, ha ambient Haven, and on the right it's Banzuri pad and then there is for attack you have this handle here release cut off grit is kind of like a makes for a little bit more aggression in the sound well maybe not here but yeah now you hear it was like kind of a little bit distortion flux, echo, volume, and so on and so forth. But it gets interesting with uh, Ethereal Earth 2.0, and which this sound is part of, uh, luminos luminosity. And also I see that the new handles here, sound effects, sequence, macros, and uh, this little uh, preference style add a lot of more um, interventions into the sound, which we're going to look at. So if I click on sound, well again it's like basically two sounds and you could like link the parameters uh, by using this little sign here or you could manipulate them 
um, separately. So we have basically a GUI for a standard um, synthesizer uh, with a layer A and filter and LFOs and then the envelopes for for the envelope uh, for the LFOs and also for the sound itself tuning transposing volume and you could also switch between sounds here or here clicking on a sound and then you have this list of sounds to choose from let's try some odyssey nice well, okay, the Missouri pad we also had, we already had, what else we got, uh, guitar pause, no, neon hum, yeah, okay. Well, I think ambient heaven was, or atmos whistle, what's that? Yeah, that's also nice, let's take this one. Uh, and, and same for sound B, you click on B and then you get to choose a different sound. But let's go back to the to the sound uh, interface here. And also what's interesting is the sequencer or um, arpeggiator. And uh, this one gets to control, um, you know, like for example, um, cutoff or resonance. And you do so by uh, building those macros and you get to pencil those in just like that with the mouse, you know. And then one for resonance, so let's try that one out. For the cutoff, I'm not really hearing a difference here. Yeah, that, that's much better. So it apparently triggers uh, the cutoff for the second sound. Uh, but you get the idea. I mean, you uh, program these macros here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six different ones. And uh, by, you know, by having the uh, macros control those parameters, it makes for really lively uh, moving layers, which don't, uh, you know, they don't stay stagnant, but... Uh, you either latch them so they start on every key press. Uh, I mean, they, they sorry, <laughs> my bad. Retrigger them means you, they start out on every key press. And if you latch them, they un, are going to evolve, uh, even if you change keys in between and finish off uh, before in a, instead of starting again. So that's that. Um, the macros, like I said, you get the pencil in those those curves for all these parameters, cutoff, resonance, uh, and this time um, for this one here, it's just those two, I think. And you could also uh, assign a different layer and, you know, uh, like I said, I mean, make it for even uh, more evolving and more interesting sounds. Also, you can load some of those macros, which are predefined here, initialize, let's start again reverse, invert, mirror, soften, and so on, fractalize. So you have these patterns here for those uh, uh, parameters like cutoff, resonance, phaser, and so on and so forth. Really, really powerful, I think. And then if you wanted to save the instrument, you'd go up here and uh, go to File, Save As, and then you call it whatever you want to, let's say, you know, trial, preset, nice bound, whatever, <laughs> save it, and then next time it should come up here for, uh, you know, as, as a choice. I have to load it again, of course, so we're not doing that now. Yeah, all right, what else? Uh, I was gonna talk about uh, integration of, uh, you know, those parameters here in the DAW, with uh, the keyboard, with the outboard gear. Now, first of all, all the transport functions are on these knobs, on these uh, pads here, like. I will start apparently, stop, stops it twice, put it, uh, press and stop twice, takes me back to the beginning. There's one for the record button, one for 
uh, reverse and fast forward, one for the loop, and also the parameters here for, like, for example, for a cutoff. Okay. So here we go. Like I said, um, those handles here in the software are mapped to those outboard elements here, like the knobs, and uh, we're gonna get into the selection uh, part here later on. Cut off, you know, it moves that handle, resonance. Phase rate, and if I switch onto these arrow keys, then I get into further um, parameters of the sound, uh, volume, uh, the step sequencer also, you get the manipulate those all in real time here and also record automation by using that handle here and switching it to touch or latch and then as you record your sequence or your part and move the knobs here it will also record the automation for you which I think is really you know makes for a really efficient and productive workflow so where were we ah yeah okay so let's say we were to create a new track uh, loading Ethereal Earth or any other package into it. So we make a new software track. Of course, I have to choose the, I'm sorry, choose the instrument here first. So uh, Ethereal Earth or any of the native instruments packages usually uh, work by using contact, uh, the player version, and some require the full version. And if you have the license for complete control, then, like I said, I prefer that because of the integration. So, okay, this one is empty. So, first thing we need to do is uh, choose a library. And now we're going to use only the keyboard here. So, so you get an idea. It says press browse here. So, I'm going to press the browse button on the keyboard. It brings up this interface. Uh, on the left-hand side, there are all the libraries that I have licenses for or downloaded from other vendors and if I move the dial here it's gonna let me choose any of those libraries first so we're looking for if the dial on action strength ethereal earth here we are if I press down the dial it'll actually load uh, the package or the library uh, that consists of two banks we're gonna use all banks here which is fine and then if I press the right hand arrow, it's going to access the right column. And by moving the dial again, it should let me pre-listen or audition any of the presets. Let's check it out. Yeah, I didn't have the output selected, my bad. I have to have an output, of course, since. going to have to go back and... So here we go. Okay. So now we have an output, uh, output. So let's go back to the browse button, Ethereal Earth. Yes, press down all banks, press down, go take the right hand arrow. So here we go. Now we get a preview of all the sounds as I dial through them. But the list is too um, comprehensive for me, so let's go back to the left-hand column using the left uh, arrow and uh, dial onto the types or characters is actually what I'm looking for. Uh, I have to use the down arrow, characters, evolving, sample-based, evolving sounds good, enter it, and then go back to types once more, vocal, synth pad is I think what I'm what I need here. I'm sorry, here, here we go. So with the elements here, up and down arrows, left and right, uh, browse, back, enter, or pushing down the dial, that's how you load the presets in, onto your uh, uh, channel strip, actually. So SynthPad um, is one of the filters we're using, and Evolving is the other filter, so on the right-hand column I get presented with only uh, the sounds that match those two criteria, which are Network and Odyssey in this case. So uh, let's check this out. I'm sorry. I have to go. Yeah, that sounds good. And if I um, press Enter, I also get the 
choose it as a favorite marked by the star to the right. So let's use that one here. And now it's actually loaded into my new track, which is this one here. Let's bring it all the way up. That's the new track we just created. <laughs> amazing, amazing ambient sounds, aren't they? And uh, so, yeah, uh, this was really a lifesaver for the uh, Heaviosity Vocalize 3 competition. So let's give it a listen real quick and see whether I managed to replicate uh, the kind of vibe that I went for. Oh, uh, before we do, there's um, these three tracks were preloaded with something different here. Let's go back to the other track alternative I used. I actually used uh, sounds from Decent Sampler using Vinta Voices, India Ashbury and Max Natras and and this used to be another stock sound here. So I also activated track alternatives and you know copied and pasted the region into those new track alternatives. You get to switch them by clicking that little uh, pop-up menu here. Trying to see and yeah. And what else? Um, instead of the free frame heavy punches, I went for um, stock sounds Tycho which are these let's listen to those in isolation real quick I think they really sound pretty decent and then also from complete um, from native instrument action strikes which is another library that I happen to have a license for uh, used it before in a, a magazine article a while back a journalist you know as a journalist and so there are three flavors of action strikes the entire ensemble and hits and single instruments and and they they also let you um, select patterns with uh, using the key switches that's the chair <laughs> So if I press the switches down here, uh, nope, it's here. On the left, it's a C. What is it? C one, two, three. And it, you know, it presents you with uh, kind of pre-made uh, drum rolls or or. Uh, accents and and fills and and whatnot so yeah that is that let's listen to those drum sounds in isolation really quick here as the figure kind of tries to lift himself up more like sound design you know like mimicking those movements and then later on going into a regular rhythm uh, with 16 notes triplets and you know, double time. Because if we listen to the Ferrum, uh, Free Ferrum Edition once more, it's kind of really heavy and kind of tends to bury everything else in the mix. It's really in the foreground, really sharp and, you know, so these are a little bit more subtle. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's um, take another listen here at the clip we started on these pads so we have the sun the glaring sun and to introduce a little bit more drama to reflect that and then this figure rises up you know apparently making an effort to lift himself up and then there he goes and now we go into a regular rhythm And that's that. I hope you found it useful and hopefully also informative. 
And if you did, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel, ding the notification bell to get notified about new content. I'm going to put the links to all the relevant other videos that I talked about in the description below, also to the packages. And hope you like this and have a productive and creative weekend. And see you soon, Westbound for Westbound Music. Bye bye. Amazing.